Hello, I'm Chef Diane DeMayo and welcome to Bootleg Tips. Today we are making something very fun. Generally, this is something that you would brine, but we are doing it a very fast, quick and easy way. And what is that? Sauerkraut. It's a pickle and generally it's based upon putting something in some salt and water and letting it ferment. However, we don't always have that time and we really want a good, not store-bought sauerkraut that we can make easily at home to match with anything, for instance, maybe a Reuben. So make sure to check out my recipe for a Reuben. But this cabbage, cider vinegar, salt, little brown sugar, some mustard seed. I like the ground and parts better flavor and I just don't really like the crunchy seeds. And some oil to saute it in. All right, so first what I'm gonna do And you want to make sure that you get it really thin. When cabbage finally cooks, it wilts down, contains a lot of water. All right. Voila. And that's it. Now I'm going to go straight to the stove, saute it, and add all of my other ingredients. So we're going to have super delicious, fabulous sauerkraut. My pot is already nice and hot. I'm going to get my oil in there. Just a tad bit. We don't want oily, poily sauerkraut. We just want cooked sauerkraut. A little oil goes a long way in a hot pan. And let's see. It... Yeah, baby. In it goes. First, I'm going to let it wilt a little bit. And then once it does, I'm going to add some vinegar, let it reduce, add my sugar, my mustard seed, and a little bit of salt. Cook it down. And that's about it. I'm going to do my first vinegar reduction. I'm not adding my seasonings now. Why? Because each time the vinegar reduces, it either makes it a little too much concentrated or it might not be enough. So once I have the cabbage at the right texture that I like, I will then add my seasonings because it would be perfect and ready to go. Okay, second vinegar reduction. I'm going to wilt this about 30% more and then I'm going to be ready to add the rest of my seasonings. My kraut is at the texture that I want it to be, a little crunchy still, but definitely soft. A lot of liquid has been evaporated and I'm going to go ahead and add my salt. Approximately, I don't know, one tablespoon. Some ground mustard seed, about a half a teaspoon and sugar, sugar, sugar. Okay, brown sugar in, about two lovely tablespoons, and stir. And by the way, that was about, I'd say, we'll use half a, half a cabbage head, more or less. Maso meals. And as always, taste to adjust your seasoning. Bam, 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 bam. That's some sauerkraut. And this has been your tip for the week, and I will see you next week with another bootleg tip. Hello, I am Chef Diane DeMeo, and welcome to my kitchen. Today, we are making a corned beef.